We all know Bloomington has the best drinking water. We've even got the hardware to prove it following a national taste test. But the water here doesn't just taste good, it's safe. I started here in 1997. We've never gone over the maximum contaminant level. That's Deb Weltson talking about the lead testing that takes place every three years. It's mandated by the Minnesota Department of Health, and this spring, it's Bloomington's turn. We're due to have our lead and copper completed in June, so I'll be sending out letters at the end of May to get them prepared for the process. To test for lead, the city has 30 residents collect and send in water samples. People targeted live in homes built in the 90s with copper or lead piping. If all samples are below the maximum contaminant level, the next study takes place in three more years. If a sample is too high, extra testing is required. It's a process that's received more attention lately following the incident in Flint, Michigan. When Flint, Michigan ha happened, we got a few calls. But Deb says what happened in Flint won't happen here. We soften the water at a level that isn't corrosive because that's really actually the problem. It wasn't that there was lead in the water itself. The water was corrosive, so it leached the lead and copper out of the plumbing. Want more proof the city is working to protect your drinking water? This lab at Bloomington's water treatment plant is another safeguard. The city of Bloomington residents are very blessed to have this because it's not common. Um, we're able to look at all sorts of contaminants where other cities really can't, they can't. They don't have they don't have the access to a lab like this. They won't sample until something happens and we're looking at we want to prevent something from happening. So we're very lucky. A peace of mind Bloomington residents can be proud of. We can reassure them that we're testing water here 24-7 and a lot of other cities can't say that.